Hello, sports fans. This is your daily preview of the 2022 World Athletics Outdoor Championships held in the U.S. for the first time ever. It's from July 15th to July 24th, 2022. It's held at the newly renovated Hayward Field, the house that Phil built. And it's in Eugene, Oregon, and the University of Oregon campus. I've been coming here since 1980. I love to worship track and field here. You will too. Our daily previews are sponsored by Koros. Koros is a performance sports technology company. You can find them at Koros, C-O-R-O-S dot com. They've got killer sports timing and training devices, and they have a newly launched training site. You need to check it out. Um, we will also be doing thanks to Koros the Koros Athletes Watch, where we will be featuring some of the finest athletes in the world who train using Koros. Today, uh, for example, Jeffrey Kemwar, Let's Net Gaday, uh, Molly Seidel, uh, Gabriella Stafford Debus, uh, among others. So we will have those articles up on Run Blog Run. And thanks again to our friends at Koros, the performance sports technology company. And you can find them at Koros. Dot com. Please support them. Hey, sports fans, day three, session one starts with the marathon. It's going to be insane, 6.15 in the morning. I'm just going to like bathe myself in coffee. How about you? But Springfield and Eugene are going to be shut down, man, from 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. There's a 13.1 mile loop, and it's part of the old Nike OTC course, which I ran back in 83. And if anybody remembers the sport in 1979, Tony Sandoval and Jeff Wells tied it at 210.20, and it was like 55 guys under 215. It was insane. This is going to be an important race, and who's going to win the medals? Uh, there'll be a strong Ethiopian team. There'll be a strong Kenyan team, and there will be some tough Americans. And I am telling you, I think Galen Rupp is ready for another medal. Galen is a two-time Olympic Medalist to uh, 2012 in the 10,000 and 2016 bronze in the marathon. Uh, he's been a four-time Olympic team member. He graduated from the University of Oregon, go Ducks. And he went to Central Catholic, uh, coached by one of my buddies, Dave Frank. And um, he, I think he's ready. He's had some back injuries. Uh, he's had, uh, or not back injuries, just some back pain and worked through that. I did a long interview with him uh, last winter with the kids running around the house, which is really kind of fun. And Jeff Benjamin just did a great interview. We've got it up on Countdown to America's World Champs on Run Blog Run, so check it out. Then we have the 110-meter uh, hurdles for the heptathlon. The heptathlon starting at 10.35. And at 11.05, it's the men's 400-meter hurdles heats, or 400-meter heats, which should be fun. Mike Norman, where's he at, man? Allison, uh, champion Allison, where's he at? Randolph Ross, where's he at? Be interesting. 11.35, the uh, women's hammer throw final. I think there's a U.S. medal there. Keep our fingers crossed. Uh, high jump, event two of the heptathlons at 11.35. At noon, the women's 400-meter heats. That's going to be very, very interesting, I think. In past world championships, American women haven't gotten through the semis. Uh, they do well in the relays, but... I think it'll be different here. At um, one o'clock, because you can't do it any hotter, they have the men's 10,000 meters. And that's going to be a very, very interesting race. Grant Fisher, Joe Klecker, and gosh, I am going to just uh, kick my butt on the third uh, team member in the U.S., but I will throw him in. I'll give him something, uh, some love in a little bit. We just did a story about him, too. But the men's 10,000 is going to be incredible. But it's also at the hot part of the day. World Athletics, what the hell are you guys thinking about doing a 25-lap race at 1 o'clock in the afternoon? This does not make me happy. I worry about athletes being affected by the heat, and I know you do, too, but I do not get it. Um, shot put, women's shot put, heptathlon, uh, that is at 145. And again, the 10,000 meter men's, why do you do it at one o'clock? Joshua Chepta guy, well, what kind of shape is Joshua going to be in? Solomon Brega, what kind of shape is he going to be in? The Ethiopian team will be tough. The Kenyan team will be tough. The U.S. team will be tough. I think Grant Fisher and Joe Klecker could be in medal uh, positions. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. That's the end of session one, day three. This is session two, day three. It starts at 5.05 with the men's 110-meter hurdle semifinal 
Grant Holloway, Trey Cunningham, Devin Allen, Hansley Parchment, Ronald Levy. What are the surprises? A-plus game or you're not making it to the final. This may be the toughest men's event, period. Men's discus qualification A starts at 5.05. Women's pole vault final, Sandy Morris, Katie Najat, Holly um, Bradshaw, Katarina Stefaniti. It's going to be interesting. The women's pole vault is always, always an incredible event. Can Sandy and Katie do it? They're training together. It'll be very interesting. The women's semifinals are at 5.33. Again, Elaine Thompson, hurrah. Shelly Ann Frazier Price, Melissa uh, Jefferson, Aliyah Hobbs. Um, what's going to happen there? It's going to be very, very interesting. A plus game, or you do not make the final. The men's 400 meter hurdle semifinal, Karsten Warholm will know what kind of shape he's in by then. Ride Benjamin, um, Allison Dos Santos. It's going to be very interesting. I think the top seven will be under 40. 750. It's going to be that tough. A plus game again. The men's shot put final at 627. Ryan Krauser, uh, Darian Romani, Thomas Walsh, Joe Kovacs. Is Joe going to just put one out there? And how is Ryan going to react to it? Remember, this is where near where Ryan was raised. His dad coaches him. His uncle was a good thrower. His cousin was a good thrower. His cousins are good javelin throwers. He wants to do something special, I think. And I know his agent, Paul Doyle. And if I was speaking to Paul right now, he'd be smiling at me and saying, he's going to do a performance for the ages. I think you're going to see a series of throws that will blow your mind. Do not miss a throw in the shot put or you're insane. Okay, now uh, the discus throw qualification B for men is at 6.30. The women's 200 meters in the heptathlon uh, is at 7.30 or 6.36. The men's 1500 semifinals, getting into that final is going to be crazy. Jacob Ingebrigtsen said, I don't think I'll have any trouble. Josh Kerr, uh, Cooper Tier, um, Ali Hoare. Ali has been in incredible shape this year. He's coached by Dathan Ritzenheim at the On Athletic Club, and we have our fingers crossed for Ali and Cooper. Cooper, this is his duck, you know, duck dynasty, baby. This is the duck capital. So that should be interesting. So after the men's semifinals, two tasty, tasty finals, the men's 110 hurdles. Can Grant Holloway put it all together and defend his 2019 title? His Hansley Parchment, who told us recently through Stuart Weir that his best is yet to come. Is he going to be able to uh, build on his Olympic gold medal? Ronald Levy, always dangerous. Devin Allen, always dangerous. Uh, Trey Cunningham, I think this guy is the next coming. I'm telling you right now, he is studly. And there will be some surprises in the 110 hurdles, but that's going to be the 110 hurdle finals. And that's going to be incredible. And we end the evening at 7.50 in the women's 100 finals. Yay! So how cool is that going to be? Let's go through it. Elaine Thompson, hurrah, 10.54. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, 10.60. Melissa Jefferson, 10.69. Mujingi Kambunji, the World Indoor Champion. And Mujinga is tough, tough, tough. Uh, Daryl uh, Nate, uh, uh, Nita, uh, the British runners, run 1080. She could be in there. Aliyah Homs, I think Aliyah will be there. I think it's going to be a tough, tough final. I think, depending on what you put out in the semifinal to get yourself to the final, we're going to see who's got it. I think it's going to be very difficult for Elaine Thompson, hurrah, and Shelly Ann Fraser Price to be beat. But this is the world championships. Elaine Thompson Hurrah has never won an individual gold medal in the sprints of the world championship. The woman has won 100 and 200 in Olympics. What can she do here? It's going to be an incredible race. And Elaine Thompson Hurrah wants respect. She always feels that Shelly Ann Fraser Price gets the love and respect in Jamaica. But Elaine is one tough athlete. Wonderful interviews. They're both great interviews. But the women's 100-meter final 
could be one of the finest events. I, I, I think it could be the best event, uh, well, of that hour at the end of the day, because we'll have the one ton hurdles before that too. So how do you, how do you surpass a one ton hurdle final? You have a hundred meter women's final. That's going to be hot, hot, hot day three, end of day three.